hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video we are going to take a look on how we can create managed table and external table and what is the difference between both of them okay so in the first part we will create managed table and in the second part we will create external table then we will see what is the difference between both of them so to create manage table and external table what i have done i i have created one adls inside adls i have a container raw and inside container you have you have you can see this folder international trade which contains some raw data okay some raw files uh, out of this files i will be reading one or two files to create the data frame and using that data frame we will be creating the tables apart from this I have created this folder which is an external table okay which I will be using to create the external tables okay as of now it is empty so there is one more thing which I have done already is I have already um, created a notebook SPN access which will be helping me to get the access of ADLS and I will be reading the file out of it the same ADLS which I have shown you just now okay so let me quickly run it and it will show you what all files are there inside it okay all these five files which we just I just have shown you yeah so we have country classification goods classification output revise service classification and all right so we have all these files inside it and all of them are CSV now in the second part in the second command what I am doing is I am basically creating a location okay just to use this location in my uh, subsequent commands that's it so let me run this one also well. okay in the next command what I will be doing I will be reading one of these files and I will create a data frame out of it okay so we know like how exactly we can create how we exactly we can read so I will use spark dot read dot format all the files are CSV so I'll use CSV and I know that all of these files have headers okay so I'll use header and then I will load it okay from the same location which I have just shown you okay and we already have that here as you can see this location is still international trade so I have to pass the file name so let's say this is my file name or you can use any one of them let's use goods classification okay now let's display the data frame and see what is the data inside it so it's a very common um, it's, it's a raw file and it has four or three columns some information related to the goods okay and <clears throat> now we have the data frame ready with us now what we will do we will use this data frame and we will create a managed table okay so to create a managed table we need to write this data right and so I will be writing this data and let's say I want to write it in a parquet format okay okay now after writing it I mean basically while writing I wanted to save it as a table as well okay now when I say save a table I need to pass the database name as well as the table name so if you see here I already have a database name here demo if I want I can create another one if you don't have the database created it will give you an error let me show you let's say testing or something and then I will give table name as well let's say managed table okay and if I run this it will give me an error saying this this database is not there so I'll just change it from testing to demo and we'll run the same command when you run it it is completed okay if you go and see inside demo database you will see the table is already there now okay but we don't know if it is managed table or not so by default if you are using save as table 
okay it will create a manage table okay because you are not giving any external locations so if you wanted to create external tables you have to pass the location name okay so let's 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 create another table and this time we will pass one location okay and my location will be i'll show you the folder which i have shown you right let's say this is the location so i'll just change it file location external let's say run it okay i think it is good okay so we'll use the same variable okay to save um, to pass this location basically while creating an external tables now we'll use the same command to read another file instead of this okay let's instead of goods classification i will use output csv full or let's say revised whatever is fine okay and let's say it's a df2 and we'll simply display it let's run it mm -hmm. so we have the data with us now i want to write this data as a external table okay so how to write it i'll use the same data frame i'll say write dot format and last time we used parquet let's use csv you can write in any any of the format it's up to you but this time as i said we need to use the path okay so what was the path we just created that location okay and then we'll say same again option is done csv oh i forgot to close it okay that's the issue that's why it's not suggesting yeah save as table and here i will pass the name of table okay let's say demo dot uh, revised tunnel okay and i will keep it is in a both of them as a double quotes okay let's run it now so it's done and if you see i have given this location so if i go here just to refresh it you will see the data is written in the csv format okay great so we are able to create external table as well as the managed table okay if you see here in the dbfs now you will see the first difference see both the tables are listed here right but now you will see the difference this one is external and this one is managed so if i click on managed it will take some time mm -hmm. yeah it will show you the schema as well as some sample data okay but when i click on this external table okay it will simply show you schema but not the data it means the data will be stored in the adls right the location where you have given but the schema is here right so this is the first difference in the managed and the external tables that the data in in case of external tables the data will be stored at the specific path with the path which you give okay now the second difference okay before second difference i wanted to show you where exactly or how exactly we can identify if it is a managed table or not okay sql and we have this um, database let's say demo we have one command describe describe extended of sql where i need to just pass this table names okay so this is the external one i'll just hit it run it and it will give you some detail information related to the column name data type as you can see then it will give you some detail information related to the table like what is the data na database name 
what is the table name who is the owner when the, when it was created by whom it was created and the type what is the type as well as it will give you the location where exactly it stored the data okay so this is how you can identify if it is an external table or managed table so let me run it the same command for managed table as well and you will see the difference mm, yeah this is the managed table let me run this it will give you some description and some uh, information related to the columns and again see the type is managed and you can see provider is parquet and where exactly we have the data is dbfs so in this case we have the data into the dbfs location but in the case of external we have the data into an external location that's the difference okay that's that's the first difference we talked about now the second difference is which is related to deleting these tables okay so let's say i wanted to delete the tables okay so if i'll say drop table sorry yeah drop table let's say this one first managed one demo dot this okay if i run this sorry okay so if i run this command it will delete the schema as well as the data right because we have the schema and data both in the dfs location okay dbfs location so it it got deleted okay but if you try to delete the other one the external table okay it will delete the schema okay the schema is deleted so you will not see the anything here right but if you go here and if you check the data okay let's see the data see the data will be there but if you try to see the data over here in dbfs for that table you will not see for managed table i mean to say see it's empty so this is the second difference while deleting the external tables you will only delete the schema not the data but if you are deleting um, if you are basically using the drop command for managed table it will delete the schema as well as the data so i hope this video will helpful for you um, thank you thanks a lot for watching this video